Hi, I'd like to show you a technique in PowerPoint that will allow you to have your students create a presentation that will self-run, uh, say for a science fair kiosk, or uh, maybe you have a presentation as a teacher that you want to show to your parents at uh, conferences or whatever. Anyway, the process to set up a uh, rotating presentation that uh, self-progresses is very simple. Let me show you the procedure. First of all, you want to set your view to slide sorter. And in that view, you want to select all the slides. Uh, the easiest way to do that is with control A by holding the control key and pressing A, you select all the slides in your presentation. Then at that point, you go to the animations page. Over on the right hand side under advanced slide, click automatically after and change the number of seconds for the presentation. And the display is listed in minutes and seconds. So you uh, want to be careful to set it for seconds. And 10 seconds is a good number to have each slide show. Once you've set that on all slides, you can deselect your slides and you'll see that the timing for each slide is listed under the slide. Let's say that you have a little more complicated slide and you want to adjust that one specifically. Uh, it's to give people more time to look at it. At that point, you can just go in there and highlight that slide and change the number. You'll notice that only that slide now has a time factor of 20. The next step is to go to Slideshow and then set up slideshow. At this point, what you want to do is click on the browsed at kiosk full screen mode and OK. You now have a slideshow presentation that will self run. And now you've got a couple of different options for saving it. The first option is if you go and do the save as function, and you can just save it as a PowerPoint presentation. Just as you normally would any presentation. Another option that you have is to publish the slides and package for CD. If you do this option, you would be able to actually create a presentation that you could put on a CD, and then at that point, uh, you can share that with uh, anyone, and you can put the CD in any computer and uh, use it uh, on that computer to self-run. So that's a perfect option for creating the video on one computer and then moving it to a different computer where it's going to be played. But it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is copy to CD or you can copy the folder. If you copy the folder you could put this on a flash drive. And that's the procedure for creating a self-running PowerPoint presentation. Have fun!